what's going on guys? Welcome to another video and this is your host, your one and only, Giver. Now, thank you so much for dropping by on this video because today we're going to take a look at Andover's newest product called the HS60. Now, if you guys are wondering, yes, this is the upgraded version of their previous MX-5. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, these are their lineup for wireless microphone but on the affordable side of things. And right now, this HS60 is somewhat similar to the Rode Wireless Go, not only by its looks but also by its form factor. Now before we proceed to the juicy parts, make sure that you have subscribed to this channel and click the notification bell icon. I did say click the notification but I post thumbs up. Anyway, so you'll be notified every time that I'm going to release a video. Let's proceed with a quick spec sheet. Now the biggest difference in terms of form factor that you will notice between the MX-5 and the HS-60 would be the size. HS-60 is definitely a little bit smaller than the MX-5. Also the additional or the inclusion of an LCD screen is a big bonus since you can now monitor your battery level, your volume level, and the frequency where you are connected to. Also, it is now catered with a USB Type-C port, meaning a faster charging time than the MX-5 that uses a micro USB. Now, the transmitter is rated for a 3.5 battery life, and the receiver is rated for around 5 hours. Now, let's proceed to the best part of this video would be the actual audio test. Please do take note that this test will start right around volume level 5 because for me, that is the most reasonable volume level to start with and not level 1 because as I mentioned, I don't want it to be too low or too loud and I don't want to waste much of your time. So, yeah. Something to take note about that I'm using a generic lapel microphone that came with the box or with the unit itself. So, there might be some difference if you're using a Deity, a Rode, or a different branded lapel microphone. Also, the output or the audio output will also depend on which the device is currently connected to. So if you're using a PC, mobile phone, or camera, those output might be different. As of right now, for me, I'm using a Sony Alpha A6400, and the data will be on the side of the screen, maybe. I don't know which side, so yeah. So this is the microphone or this is the audio level of HS60 at volume 5, both on the transmitter and the receiver. Now we are at the volume level 7, HS60, and now we're at the volume level 9. You might notice that there will be some background noise or white noise start appearing because this is the maximum level of the transmitter and the receiver. So HS60 mic test, mic test. And this is the enhanced version. Currently, I'm at volume level 7 because for me, this is the sweet spot of all of the volume level. So, mic test 1, 2, 3. Now, we're going to try without a lapel microphone and only the receiver. We're currently sitting at volume level 5. So, mic test, mic test. Now, on volume level 7, mic test, mic test. And now, at the maximum volume level, level 9, mic test, mic test. And now this enhanced version without the lapel microphone still sitting at volume level 7 because this is my sweet spot. So mic test, audio test, sound test. One, two, three. And of course, this video is not complete if there isn't any outdoor test. So let's go outside and do our testing. Okay, now for the outdoor sound quality test, I'm using a lapel microphone. We're currently at volume level 5, both on the transceiver and receiver. Transceiver, transmitter and receiver. So mic test, audio test 1, 2, 3. Okay, now volume level 6, mic test 1, 2, 3, both on the transmitter and receiver. Mic test. Now we are at the volume level 8, mic test, audio test, sound quality, sound check 1, 2, 3. Moving on to the zero or no lapel microphone and only the transmitter. It is currently like this far but going to clip it. So audio test currently at volume level 5 both on transmitter and receiver. Mic test, mic test. Currently at volume level 6, audio test, mic test, 1, 2, 3. And now we're at volume level 8, audio test, mic test, sound quality check, whatever check it is, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so right now we're going to test the claim that this wireless microphone, the H60, will go up to 
85 meters or 83 meters so it's just like 17 to 15 meters shy from the 100 meter dash so that's like pretty long but we all know that those are just piece of data that is on paper to, uh, to attract customers and because we've tested its previous brother the mx5 it didn't reach the 50 meters that it is claimed but right now they include an antenna which you can just pull it out on the transmitter and you can also do that here on the receiver itself like you can see that that's the for the receiver part okay so now i'm going to proceed walking backwards i'm going to bring oops uh, my mask because it's going to be far if you're going to test the 83 meters that is being claimed but there's like a trike it's coming so let me move it Okay, so my, my voice might be muffled. This is, here we go, 83 meter test, mic test, mic test. Okay, I'm a little bit far now. As, as, like last time, we're going to run, mic test, mic test. I'm currently here. Is the sound still okay or it's began crackling? Mic test. By the way, guys, I'm doing this by myself, so I'm looking at the camera so far uh, okay i think that's the farthest that i will be doing now i don't know if that's 83 meters or 85 but it's way farther than what i did last time on mx5 or just the same amount but if the sound quality didn't crack up to that point then we have a good contender here because it means that you can sorry i'm, I'm out of breath it means that you can use this anywhere you are or in conference or type of things okay so final thoughts i didn't include any enhanced version on this test because technically you can suppress the noise when you're outside so yeah that's the reason why okay so let's go back to the studio oh, oh we're back so what do you guys think did you love the performance of the hs60 well if you're going to ask me that's a big yes with just an additional of 20 to 25 dollars and that's right around 1000 to 1500 peso where you're going to get a lot of improvements from the mx5 but if you're not yet convinced that you want to spend your extra 20 dollars well make sure to stay tuned on this channel because i'm going to compare this hs60 from its younger brother the mx5 hey hey hey, hey. before you go I just want to tell you guys that I just found out that this back or the clip part of this wireless microphone, the HS60, has actually a magnet so you can just clip it to any metal surface like, I I'm going to test it. So you see, this is a metal. How awesome is that dude? Like, it clipped and this is the other one. It clipped both. Dude, that's so cool. So anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you do, you know what to do. Press the thumbs up button and share this video to your friends. And once again, this is MacGyver saying that please do take care. We're almost at the end of the year and at the end of the pandemic. So be healthy. Bye-bye!